was in the summer of 98 when uh, Drew Stevenson came to visit me in Zurich and we went going on a, on a pedalo on the lake of Zurich and then we thought about what we're gonna do with our lives and we both had this idea of uh, making a snowboard movie. September 99 I headed to Chile to, to get the first shots in and on the way to Chile um, Steve Gruber and me we had a layover in San Diego where we go to a snowboard movie premiere where Steve was starring in at the time it was a movie called 1999 where Justin Hostinek was a co-producer so I met him and found out that he grew up in Zurich as well and spoke perfectly Swiss German so I you know told him about our idea of making a European snowboard movie and a few months later you know we we called him up and um, he joined us. That was like really the kickoff with Tribal that was released in 2000. At the time there was no digital photography and uh, shooting with 16 millimeter was the same thing, you know, framing, light metering. And so really photography was the perfect background for that. Change was we changed from 16 millimeter to super 16 millimeter. <laughs> also, like with film, you know, in, in, in these kind of conditions we're shooting at, like the high contrast, with the blue skies, shadows, white snow. Um, with the film, you have really, you know, you get all these these depths in between, really, really nice. All there is on the electrical side is really just the motor, the engine that rolls the film. So you can like pull rain, like minus 20 degrees, that film will just always work. It's always like digi footage, I always have to force myself to, to check it at the end of the day. With 16, when you get it back, it's like, oh, I can't wait for it. I guess the big advantage that we have also compared to all these younger uh, companies or filmmakers is that we really are an established brand. Absent Films is like a, it's a quality, it stands for quality and the writers that are in our movies, like a lot of the young writers want to be with these, with these writers, you know, to evolve and uh, progress with their own snowboarding and I think a lot of the brands know about that so they, they, they are pushing and want to have their writers see, go out, you know, with names like Nicholas or, or Gigi and like a lot of these guys, the first time you'd see them in a movie was in, in absent films. Yeah, Jonas Emery, Iker Fernandez, um, Travis Rice was first seen in Transcendence, absent films in 2001. He's the first American that we thought was legit to be in a European snowboard movie. <laughs> so, you know, there, nowadays, like every writer has his own web webisode or web show, so, you know, we try to stay on top of our game as well. And yeah. You know, besides the main product, the movie, we have the web shows and, and with the tours and the brand name Absent Films, you know, we really drive a lot of people to have this experience and come come out and see see and meet the writers, experience the movie on a big screen and, and just, you know, hire people up to go snowboarding. If it all goes to shit, are you going to join a boy, boy band or become a model for a snowboard headline? <laughs> if it all goes to shit, I'm, uh, I'm uh, moving to Brazil. Exit already planned out. <laughs> <laughs> Big slap.